At the end of 2020, an estimated 28,567 people were sentenced to death worldwide. Women sentenced to death make up a tiny minority of this number. So, some may argue that the death penalty predominantly concerns men, but because women are a minority, they remain largely invisible. Conditions on death row are not designed for women. Women are deprived of gender-appropriate services for victims of sexual, mental and physical abuse, as well as services for the treatment of substance abuse. My name is Zainab Sekovan Lokran. Born into a poor family and married as a child, I was abused by my husband. I exemplified the many women who enter prison as long-term survivors of violence. This received no attention at my trial. Women report being held in police custody for longer than reasonable, being repeatedly abused by police officers and being subjected to unfair trials and inadequate legal representation. My name is Fatima Afiqat Pojo and I killed my husband to prevent him from raping my 15-year-old daughter. My legitimate defence was not addressed by the court. I am Amrina Abdul Mamini. I was sentenced to death for setting my husband on fire when I was 13. The charges were dropped later due to a breach of the UN Convention on the Rights to the Child, but not after I spent over three years on death row. متاسفانه قضات پرونده بی طرف نیستن و بی طرف این پرونده ها رستگی نمی کنن مثلا یکی از همبندی های من وقتی اومد دادگاهش رو برای من تعریف کرد گفت وقتی من وارد دادگاه شدم قاضی پرونده که یکی از قضات بسیار شناخته شده در شهر زنجان هست رو کرده بود به متهم و گفته بود که یعنی قبل از رستگی به پرونده گفته بود که تو همسرت رو کشی من پوست تو رو میکنم My name is Huang Zheling I accepted a job to carry a suitcase of children's items to Malaysia The suitcase in fact contained drugs I exemplified the many female migrant workers who find themselves in dire need of work and resort to drug related offenses unknowingly Women are judged not only for their crime but for their character They are judged against their assumed gender norms Instead of focusing on the complexity of my crime, focus was placed on my role as a daughter and caregiver to my parents, a role which I failed at in the eyes of the court. The court implied that I had no regard for my baby, since I had allegedly taken part in an activity that plagued the whole society, especially the younger generation. On this 19th World Day Against the Death Penalty, we illuminate all women on death row around the globe, often in horrendous conditions, and the tragic life stories that offered them such narrow choices.